How you doing? I'm Dane Bowers, live here at the Bolton Arena. Uh, knuckle up, kings of the north. People just starting to get here now. Got to say, big, big fight card for us tonight. Abdul Mohammed takes on Ian Jones. Going to be a, an amazing fight there. Abdul, you know, wrestling skills, second to none. Just as are the skills of Mr. Jeff Monson. Very lucky to have him over from the, from the US. He's going to be fighting the giant that is seven foot Dave Keeley. Massive fights they're looking forward to here at Knuckle Up. Like I say, we're up north. A bit different for us, out of our territory, but we're here to see who will be crowned kings of the north. Welcome to Bolton and Knuckle Up, Kings of the North. We'd like to say thank you to some of the people that make this event possible tonight. First of all, starting off with our promoters, Matt Hand and Dane Bowers. In the commentary booth tonight, none other than Pierre Gallet and Ian Butlin. Our judges for the evening, Aaron Chatfield, Dave Butlin and Dean Weir. Our referees for the evening are Nathan Webb and Mark Goddard. And our lovely ring girls, Sarah, Jenny, Kim, Katie, Chloe, and Jessica. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your next fighter to the cage, Liam Bennett! I know obviously he's going to um, probably come out you know, quite, quite erratic, and hopefully I'm just going to you know, play my game, uh, keep it cool, obviously take him down and ground a pound. He's got, I've got a bit of less experience than myself, so that helps me, you know, a bit more cage experience, and hopefully that will, you know, on the night, where well, tonight now, uh, that'll make a difference. I'm very confident in that. I mean, from what we've seen of him, where, wherever it goes in the cage, we, we believe I can beat him. I'm, I'm stronger in our areas. Um, I'm just going to go at him at 100 miles an hour, uh, see what he's going to do about it. I don't, I don't think he's got an answer for me, to be honest. This is a good proving ground, definitely. Um, I think that this is definitely the place where I want to smash it and make an impact, and then take it from there, definitely. This man is a mixed martial artist with a record of one win, no losses. 
He weighed in at 70 kilograms. He stands five feet, nine inches tall. Fighting out of East Lakes Predators, ladies and gentlemen, Ian the Phoenix and Lizzo. Okay, Pierre, bout number two, Liam Bennett versus Ian Entwistle. Ian Entwistle, quite a controversial character. Always comes out intense and up for a fight. Some people like him, some don't, but I like his style, it's exciting. I think the fans would agree with you there. That's what they pay for. That's what they're going to get here tonight with Ian Lint Wessel. His uh, reputation precedes him, and uh, I've heard good things, so we'll see Ready. what happens here in this first round. Ready. Certainly, and a good Jimmy Slant Predators. <laughs> <laughs> Always likes to stamp his foot, and he will come out aggressive. Now, he went for uh, a kick and immediately moves in the top position on Liam Bennett. Liam Bennett is in a bad way because now uh, Ian Whistle actually has the full mount up against the cage. This is going to get called soon if he doesn't defend. Yeah. Now, the mount against the cage isn't the best place. I think mount in the middle of the cage is okay, but you sort of crowd your own work when you're against the cage. Not only that, they can wall crawl. And you see that Liam Bennett has switched over to a possible double leg takedown. However, Ed Whistle uh, has head control, goes straight to ground, reversed, a nice little reverse somersault to the back. Certainly, there's one thing you can say about Ian Entwistle. It comes out fast and aggressive, and he's got, it, you've got to weather that storm. Now, the thing with fast and aggressive from the very first, you have to gauge, you know, do I have enough puff or steam to go the full round? Because he may be his, one, his own worst opponent in the later rounds. Certainly, I mean, I've seen him on cage conflict a couple of times, and he's come out, he's been explosive, but he seems to run out of ideas a little bit. Now, I know he's been working on things from stuff that's gone wrong in previous fights. Here, I'd like to see him just come a little bit more relaxed as he comes out here, because he's got all the ability in the world. Well, he's showing good groundwork, good ground control. Again, he's advanced again to full mount. Now, he's given a little bit of space up there on that far left leg. He's got to be careful that, you know, uh, Liam doesn't underscoop and go out the back door. Certainly, and it worked for a sweep. But here at the moment, complete control for me and Entwistle. Now, the thing about it is, will he fade in the later rounds? That's the only question. So, I'm sure his camp and even Liam... Uh, oh, there you go. Now, you know what? You may uh, say that uh, he comes out fast and strong. That's what the fans like to see. And if he can finish it like that every time, you know what? I say more power to him. Certainly, I think that was a great win. He had complete control and dominance all the way through. Pretty close to the prediction I gave you before we came on air, Pierre. Without a doubt. And here's the thing. Uh, that was the 11th commandment. What Ian says happens. That's right. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner. One minute. 37 seconds in the very first round. Winner by TKO did a ground and pound. Ian the Phoenix and Wessel. Ian, come here, sir. You did tell me that you were a whirlwind. You were always going to come out fighting. I mean, it, that was your plan, right? Go out straight away, all times blazing. Yeah, man. I just like to give a big thanks to Jimmy, Eva, and Rob. Jimmy's uh, definitely the best coach now, so he's like my best friend. My dad, the coach on the world tour. It's not the Grammys, mate. <laughs> I do like her. I've got to say, ladies and gentlemen, our winner, we love him, Ian Enwistle. Love you, sir. Well done, mate. Good job, Ian. Jones from Gracie Baja versus Mick Bowman from the Wolf Slayer. Pierre, starting out before this fight starts, Mick Bowman comes out the Wolf Slayer. He's got UFC stars in his camp. How is that going to help him? Uh, it's going to give him uh, crazy confidence to look back and know that you're getting instruction directly from guys like you know, uh, the same trainers who trained Michael Bisping. 
certainly. I've seen Mick Bowman fight a few times. He takes his time, he's very patient, but he's solid in every area. You know, good stand up, good ground. Now, I know Matt Jones has fought for, uh, I believe it was Bad Breed, uh, sponsored by Knuckle Up, uh, down in Bath. I can't remember how he won, I just remember that it was a very dominant and strong performance, and I believe he took it in the first round. So, well, Mick's last fight I commentated on, Fight Icon, he had to weather a very, a very hard storm before he came through and won. So he shows that he can, you know, he can come through that sort of a, a really hard fight. Well, that's good to know if you're cornering him because you know that. Oh, that's a knee from <laughs> Mick Bowman. Yeah, that, oh, that, now, that was a perfectly timed knee there, Pierre. Perfectly timed knee. Now, prior to that, uh, Matt Jones had come in a couple times, head low. Um, you can see Mick Bowman's shape. He was trying to counter punch with that left hook. However, on that one there, he opted for the knee, and I tell you what, landed it beautifully on the button, and it resulted with Matt Jones on the ground, and I believe the ref called it because, you know, fighter safety comes first, and he must have saw it in the eyes that it was a flash knockout, and he probably wasn't going to be able to defend himself. Certainly, well, the one thing I was saying about him being patient, that shows that if you look at some of the fights we've seen earlier, the guy's coming in, you know, attacking, he took his time and he saw a move. He saw. He Ladies was and gentlemen, we have a winner at 49 seconds in the very first round. The winner by TKO, fighting out of the red corner, Mick Neoman!